Hey everybody, David from Flash by V-Cycle Nut here. Time for another V-Cycle Nut Tech Talk. Talk about what I think is probably the most misunderstood, simplest system on a motorcycle today, and that's the AIS or para valve. First, let's talk about what this little system actually does. So all of that this does is it takes fresh air from your air box, which is connected to this port, comes into the valve, and the ECU opens this valve when the throttle is closed, and then these lead down through the valve cover to the exhaust port. And so that creates a vacuum on closed throttle. We open up this port and then air flows through the system down into the exhaust port. And why would we do that? Or why would the manufacturers do that? They do that to burn off unburnt fuel. So it's normal on closed throttle to have unburnt fuel. So if you inject fresh air, you have a hot exhaust port, you have fresh air and you have unburnt fuel. So it burns off, so it's good for emissions. So. Because the system goes down into the exhaust port, it doesn't affect the actual air fuel ratio that's in the combustion chamber at all. It, this is not a performance mod. It does not affect how the bike performs. Now, as a tuner, I have to block off the system either by putting block off plates or putting a marble or something in the pipe. And I have to do that because, as I said, it takes fresh air and injects it into the exhaust port. So fresh air in the exhaust port, I measure the exhaust gas to analyze air fuel ratio. If I'm taking fresh air and, and ex injecting it into the exhaust, this is going to affect the air fuel reading that I get. So to make sure I have accurate air fuel readings, I block this system off. So these are a set of block off plates that I sell. Um, and these just go in place of these covers and then they seal the system so that we no longer get that air pulled into the exhaust port. Um, again, if if I'm tuning, it's important because I want accurate air fuel ratios. But otherwise, with the stock exhaust, there's really not much reason to put a set of block off plates on. It does make changing spark plugs a little easier and you remove a couple ounces of weight. But a lot of people feel like this is a performance mod um, and like a must do first thing. And it's really not. If you have the stock pipe, be kind to your catalytic converter, be kind to the environment and, and leave the system in place. So. Where a lot of the misconception comes from is after we install an aftermarket exhaust system. The stock exhaust has a catalytic converter and it also has a muffler that's more like a maze. We put an aftermarket exhaust on it that has no catalytic converter and the muffler straight through. So all of this popping that, and flaming that was happening before we installed the pipe and was doing it on the stock bike, we weren't aware of it. Now all of a sudden we become acutely aware of it and the bike shoots flames and it pops a lot on D-cell and people like to say that, oh my God, now your bike is lean. Well, that's not true. As I told you, we changed nothing in the combustion chamber. And as I told you, this system is in place on the bike when it's stock and it's doing all this stuff. You just weren't aware of it. So the next time you hear somebody saying about their bike is lean because it's popping on D-cell, you can send them to this video and they can understand why. That does not mean that. So one of the options on the flash, on my ECU flashes with bikes equipped with this is we can disable this valve. And when we disable this valve, the valve just stays closed. So people, some people think that's the same as putting block off plates on it, but it's really not. Inside this valve is just a rubber stopper that's against the hole. And it, as the bike gets older and that rubber gets harder, the AIS valve, even with the valve force sh shut, will start to leak over time. I have seen also with the system disabled where the valve will pull away and it will pop like crazy. Uh, so obviously that's not the desired effect. So for best results, if we don't like popping on D-cell, we wanna put block off plates on it. If you like popping on D-cell, then we just leave this system active and you're actually being kind to the environment. So the next time somebody yells at you for your bike popping on D-cell, tell them you're a tree hugger and you really like the environment. So as I said, this system is active on D-cell, deceleration only. If your bike is popping and shooting flames and misfiring and it's not on D-cell, well, then you have a problem. That's not associated with the AIS valve. Um, and I think that's where the misconception comes from. When we used to not have great ways to measure air fuel, if a bike was missing and popping and farting at, and we were trying to accelerate, we knew that it was likely lean. And so I think that's where this whole misconception comes from. But again, that's not on closed throttle. And all the bikes that we have now are all fuel injected. So to say that a bike is lean when the throttle is closed, it's kind of bizarre to me because as soon as you crack the throttle open, air fuel ratio changes and that closed throttle air fuel is, fuel is meaningless. There's no load on the motor. We're not going to hurt a bike on D-cell with it being a little lean. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more motorcycle related content.